Hello and welcome. In this video we are looking into two level builds for Paladins in preparation for World of Warcraft Season of Discovery Phase 3. If you want to see more videos for Season of Discovery, consider to like and subscribe for guides, tips and tricks and raid and PvP content in the future. So for leveling as a Paladin you have different choices. You can either go open world leveling with quests, for example in Tanaris, Ferrellas, Felwood and Searing Gorge, or you can go dungeon spam, for example in Marauder and Sulfarak or BRD. You can either go tank spec as protection holy hybrid or as a retribution paladin. The tank spec is viable for both and you will find easier groups, but you can also find groups as a red, so just play what you prefer here. There will also be nightmare incursions, we don't know how this PvE event will work out and if it's good for leveling, but keep this in mind too. You can also go dual spec now, you can buy it for 50 gold and switch between both talent trees. For the retribution build, we go something like this. We go 5 points and improve Blessing of Might. We will use Seal of Martyrdom anyway, so we are, we don't need Benediction here. 2 points and to improve Judgment and 3 points and to improve Seal of the Crusader. Just a damage upgrade, 5 points into crit here. Conviction, 5% crit. Seal of Command, we just take it, because why not. Pursuit of Justice for my move speed, 2 points into eye for an eye, this is the best option we have here. And 3 points into two-handed weapons spec for 6% more damage and 1 point into Sanctity Aura for damage upgrade. The last point we can put wherever, I think Benediction is the best choice here. And 5 points into Vengeance. So now we go into the Holy Tree and put 5 points into Divine Strength here for 10% more strength. 5 points into improved seed of righteousness. This gives us 15% more damage overall and also scales up with seal of martyrdom now. So it improves our damage overall. And the last point goes into consecration. This will be really important because we get a new rune which buffs the damage from it. So speaking of new runes, our new addition here is Wrath. Wrath allows our consecration damage to be critical strikes. And also it allows our other spells to get critical strike chance from our melee critical strike chance. So it scales up basically. So this is a great addition. It allows us to go even deeper into the exorcism playstyle we had in phase 2. So in phase 2 our best option was to get a fast two hand weapon and to go deeply into crit. So we can fish for exorcism procs the whole time and basically use our global cooldown for it. So this will make this playstyle even better. On chest rune we go Seal of Martyrdom. On wrist we have three options. Improved Hammer of Wrath is our single target rune. We will always choose for boss fights for example. It basically allows our Hammer of Wrath to reset every time it hits an enemy below 10% health. So it gives us an execute phase. For AoE we have two options now. Our first option is Hammer of the Righteous. This is more of a tank rune, but they will implement it into the game so it can hit up two more targets and causes four times our main hand damage. So this might be a viable choice for retribution because it puts a dot on the enemy and it gives us a dot cleave basically. So we have to see if it's good on retribution playstyle it might be. The thing is it's probably better than Purifying Power because Purifying Power basically reduces the cooldown of Holy Wrath from 1 minute to 30 seconds but you can't forget that Holy Wrath has a 2 second cast. So we are wasting basically 2 global cooldowns and just stand still by casting it and it's not that powerful for it. So probably this will be our better cleave option but for single target you always go improved Hammer of Wrath. On hands we go Crusader Strike as usual, on waist Sheaf of Light, damage upgrade here. On legs we go Exorcist, this is just makes our playstyle viable overall. And on feet we go Art of War, same goes for it here. So this is for Retribution, our basically our leveling build and also our late game raid build. 
So for tanking, we have different choices to go. We want to go as a holy protection hybrid, basically. So what we do to go this way is go into the holy tree, five points into divine strength, five points into seed of righteousness, and one point into consecration. This is basically our bread and butter from now on. It's really, really good as a protection paladin to have AoE threat. To go into the big threat, we go 5 points into improved devotion aura, 5 points into toughness, and 3 points into improved righteous fury. This way, you get a lot of mitigation from your armor and also a lot of threat. Combined together with Hand of Reckoning, you basically can't lose threat as a paladin tank. And now you can go different choices. You can go, for example, improved Blessing of Might, Judgment, improved Seed of Crusader, Pursuit of Justice and Conviction. This gives us a really good damage overall, even on single target as a tank. Uh, conviction we go because we want to go into Exorcism then, and it's basically a holy AoE threat machine basically. We have to see how big the raid damage will be, but you can also use this in raids probably and it will be a really really good spec. So for wounds we go into Wrath, same as for Retribution, this will just be a really good damage upgrade for us. For chest we go Seed of Martyrdom, this allows us to give us mana back on wrist. We go Hammer of the Righteous, this is just a great new tank tool. On hands. We go Hand of Reckoning, it's our taunt, and it's just a great tank rune overall. On Waste, we go Chef of Light, on Legs, we go Exorcist, and on Feet, the Art of War. This allows us to do a lot of single target damage and also AoE damage. So, another option you can go is go deeper into protection if you want to get more mitigation, for example. You could go with this route here. You can go into Blessing of Kings and go 3 points into Precision and Anticipation for example. Then go into Reckoning and go with Sanctuary and go this way. This would also be an option to go with Blessing of Sanctuary. We have to see how good improved Sanctuary will be at the end, but uh, I doubt that will be better than Wrath here. What you can do is go also into Redoubt and Shield Spec instead of Improved Death Aura. And you can also go, instead of Consecration, you can also go Holy Shield if you want to. But I don't think this will be a better option than the first two options of Consecration. Enjoy leveling and consider to like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft Season of Discovery content.